Hello and welcome to your channel AWS Cloud Bytes. I'm your host Bhavesh Kumar. If you like these videos, please like, share, subscribe and click the notification bell icon for future updates. Your comments are welcome for making these interactions better. Today we're going to talk about how to automatically process data in S3 using Lambda. In this lab, we are going to create an IAM role, then create a Lambda function that consumes that IAM role. We'll also create an S3 bucket. We are going to upload a file in this S3 bucket and that will be an MP3 file. Output of that MP3 file will be a text file. So uploading a audio file, transcribing the text out of this audio file using the AWS transcribe service. Okay, we have logged into AWS console. The first thing that we are going to do is create an IAM role. So I'll select IAM and click on that. I'll go to the roles, create a role. And this is going to be a role for a service. The service we know S3 in Lambda. So I'll just choose a Lambda over here. What all roles do we need to provide? We should be able to write to S3. So let's search for S3. Let's see, S3 full access. The reason we are giving full access is we need to read from S3 and then write back the, the transcribed file to S3. So that's one. We need to get transcribe. Let me remove this. Uh, full access of transcribe we need to get cloudwatch so that we can write logs to cloudwatch i'll just give full access you can trim down as your own roles so you can see this is a policy these three policies are full access of CloudWatch, full access of Transcribe, and full access of S3. I'll give this name as Media Transcriber and the suffix as a role and create a role. Now the role has been created. I'll go to the next which is creating a lambda function we're going to create a new lambda lambda from scratch s3 bucket listener i will use python and the new Role that we created has to be selected. Media transcriber role. Advanced setting. It's okay. I'll just create this function. The current function is printing a hello world. I'm going to change that to A different code that can read from the S3 bucket. So in this case, you can see we have JSON, you have UUID, both of three libraries. We are printing it, adding it to uh, CloudWatch, and then looking for the record, first record. Um, you are just building a path over here using the bucket and the object that was changed or uploaded then we are building a job name which needs a unique identifier that's why the bucket object path that we created over here is appended with a suffix of a unique identifier guid or uuid in this case and then the output is under a transcripts folder you have this json file that was um, supposed to be generated once the transcribe is done now the library boto3 is pulling out transcribe service and then starting a transcription job 
takes a job name that you created over here language is english and the media file path is an s3 path that we created over here s3 bucket and object name and the output key is the place you want to save the output of this transcribe the response is again dumped to cloudwatch and also we're returning the response that is it we can deploy these so once this is done let's go to s3 we can click on s3 button or we can search from services you're going to create a new bucket the bucket name can be anything uh, media bucket i'm just giving some random numbers public access is all blocked we don't need versioning we can enable encryption not required for this demo but for security if you want you can enable it i'll just create a bucket it takes dashes media bucket i'll just create it so you got a new bucket let me upload a file uh, i have a sample file in this before doing that let me go to the properties okay so as soon as a file is uploaded what should happen um, i just give a um, event meeting audio event and uh, we just want to have a mp3 file processed rather than a folder so everything is sitting in the root folder but you can also create a folder saying look for any file that is dropped in this particular folder and process that we are giving a suffix saying anything that is dot mp3 has to be passed any type of event that is created whether it is a put post copy or multi-part upload all is good and this will be a lambda function so we are giving our s3 bucket listener saving the changes here now we are all set let's go to the bucket we don't have any file right now i'll upload a file uh, i have a demo file prepared for this and let me upload this file it is saying it will be uploaded under this particular destination s3 destination which is fine we'll upload this file and the upload was successful now you can see once the upload is done it was automatically triggered and there's a transcript folder created let's first look at the lambda and then we'll look at the cloudwatch so you can see the trigger that we added is showing up here and monitoring we can go and see what happened you can see last five minutes it might be taking some time to receive this info in the meanwhile we can go to cloudwatch we'll go to the logs and the log groups as soon as the lambda triggered aws lambda which is a prefix of log group with the lambda name was created over here and you can see there is a log stream if you open this one you can see that the request started at a given time this is a unique identifier for this request then you have this record that was passed to this particular lambda and once that transcription was done this is what we received uh, as a response then you have end of request 
this is like processing of lambda let's go and see if you can find an execution you can see one single dot showing up here there was one invocation this is the duration it took and this was successful also you can see there is only one execution that happened and yeah there is no other info over here let's go back to the media bucket in s3 you have transcripts you have the json file that we said for this mp3 file in order to open this file you can click on this but because this is there's no public access available this will give you access denied so to watch this file you have to download the file which we are going to do from here now once the file is available you can open it uh, let me bring this over here so this is the file let me see if i can wrap it or let me open this in a in a json so let me go to this i have this json editor what you can see is that you have results you have transcribe welcome to aws cloud bytes in all the audio that i uploaded is available in the json file once you are done with this it's time to do the cleanup and you will be done with this lab thank you for watching please share your comments and suggestions if you like the video please like share subscribe and press the notification bell icon for future updates this is your host bhavish kumar signing off good night